I'm here with the Unger ErgoTech handles. There's a long and a short. These handles are made so that they'll place in the, in the palm of your hand and you won't have as, many, as much uh, hand fatigue. Now this works with a cam that you push here and there's little teeth right here that, that lock into the channel. The way that works is you push on it, you slide it down, and you close the cam on the area that you want to do it. Now you can also remove the rubber without removing the without removing the uh, the whole thing, just by placing by squeezing on a little bit and moving it. I'm here with uh, Unger's Golden Pro Fast Lock. You'll notice that they have the the teeth like on the other one, but they also have a thumb release right here. You open that up to put it on, place the channel in there where you like it, and close the cam, and it closes in on the, on the rubber there. And you can move this up and down the channel anywhere you want it, and place it there. That's, it. that's, that. that's the handle. This is the Unger brass handle. It's their standard handle. It's uh, the locking mechanism. Is two screws and two bolts. You open it up, place the channel here, slide it into the desired part of the squeegee you want it at, and then flip it over, take a screwdriver, and screw them shut. This is Unger's swivel lock handle. Uh, this handle works, as you see, goes back and forth. The, that's how you tighten it with this, this right here. You tighten it there, untighten it here. Now it also locks in a, at a zero angle right here so that this doesn't move at all. So you can use it straight, straight out to do ledges, over the top of ledges, over the top of the bushes or whatever. So it, it's, it doesn't move anywhere, it's just straight out like this. And uh, you can use it sideways on a uh, on an area if you need to use it sideways. Very nice tool. I'm here with the Unger ErgoTech T-Bar and the Monsoon Sleeve. Uh, the way this works is th this is the handle. The handle is shaped so that it'll sit, fit in the palm of your hand and reduce on hand fatigue. There's wells here that hold water when you're scrubbing. It'll hold extra water and release it as you need it. This simply goes inside this, the sleeve by placing it in here and pushing it down. There's a little tab here that you pull out and pull over the top of that and then close this up and then take this tab and place it over like that. Now you're ready to go with your scrubber sleeve. This is the Unger Vice Versa. It's generally used for pole work and you, you can see the the squeegee is faced one direction and the scrubber is the other, squedge, the other direction. Uh, it works very simply. You, uh, you place it on the end of the pole like this. You scrub the window one side and then you flip it over and squeegee with the other. Very, very quick tool, for, especially for pole work. Now it also has this system where you can lock it onto the pole here, release it like this, so that you don't lose it off the end of your pole. Now, the way this comes apart, is there's a little screw here, comes out, and this, this whole thing will come out like this. Now there's three pieces to this. Put it together, you line up the little wings right there, hold it, place it in here, push it down, and tighten this screw. And it's ready to go. This is the Unger locking cone on all their poles. What you do is you place the squeegee here and you push it until it clicks on it like this. Then if, to release it, you push on this button and pull it apart. That way you won't lose the squeegee if you're polling and you pull down on the window, it's not going to come off not going to come off the pole. If you need to take the cone off, you press two buttons, the two sides here and pull on it and it'll come right off. To replace it, push it back on and turn it and it'll click right, right back in place. This is the Unger 
standard squeegee with the clips, the clipped squeegee. I want to talk to you about the clips here and how to take them out. What you do is you turn the, the squeegee sideways, pull out on it, grab a hold of it and pull out on it. That will pop out. Turn it the other direction. Same thing here. Pop it out. So when you, when you have both of them out, that's the top, that's the, that goes against the rubber, and this goes outward. So when you go to replace them, you place your new, you place your new rubber in, grab it, stick it here, and just push it in. Now you can use it, you can use it like this, and just push it, all right? Then you turn it around, pull out on the rubber, place that where you want it, start it, and push it in. That's how that works. With the tab out like this. So then you've got your squeegee in the rubber about an eighth inch on each side, and you're ready to go.